Welcome back to CBS This Morning. In a new memoir, President Biden's son Hunter deals head on with the decisions that put him front and center of the 2020 presidential campaign. Beautiful Things is a revealing look at his long battle with addiction and how he's handled personal tragedies. It comes out tomorrow from Gallery Books, an imprint of Simon & Schuster, a division of Viacom CBS. We spoke with Hunter Biden about whether his business dealings ever crossed a line, including work for a Ukrainian company that became a big issue in President Trump's first impeachment. Also, whether he regrets putting his father's political future at risk. The question of whether I would do it again, though, is no. You wouldn't I, do it again. I wouldn't. Because in his new memoir, Hunter Biden defends his decision to serve on the board of Ukrainian energy company Burisma, while his father oversaw U.S. policy in the region as vice president. You grew up in politics. Yeah. Did you not think you might be putting a big bullseye on yourself? I didn't fully comprehend the level to which this former administration and the people around it would go. Mm -hmm. The difference between the politics that you're talking about in terms of the last, uh, you know, 40 years is a very different game. And I don't want, ever want to, again, to, to, to hand a weapon to people that would use it uh, in an illegitimate way that they used the weapon of me against my dad. Near the end of the 2020 campaign, another weapon emerged. This laptop is a disaster for that. How the hell did he ever let go of this sucker? You know? Allies of President Trump and supporters in the media promoted incriminating evidence allegedly found on a laptop belonging to Biden. You've seen the pictures, folks. I, you know. It was delivered to the FBI by the owner of a Delaware computer store. You make just one reference to it in the book. Yeah. Is that laptop yours? Uh, it's, it, you don't need the laptop. Uh, you got a book. <laughs> you got the book. It's all in the book. And I don't know. I, I truly... The, you don't know. The serious answer is that I truly do not know the answer to that. Did you leave a, a laptop with a repairman not in that Wilmington? Not, not that, that you I remember. remember. No. No. But whether or not um, somebody has my laptop, whether or not uh, it was a, uh, my was hacked, whether or not there it, it exists a laptop at all, I truly don't know. Are you missing a laptop? Not that I know of, but, you know, <laughs> you read the book and you'll realize that I wasn't keeping uh, tabs on possessions very well for about a four-year period of time. At the end of last year, Biden acknowledged an ongoing investigation by federal authorities for potential tax law violations. Is your legal team working on any kind of a plea deal? Oh, no. I am absolutely certain that what we're doing is, is being completely cooperative with whoever is asking from, a, from any authority whatsoever. Mm -hmm. The implication all through the campaign was that your efforts had somehow benefited your father financially. Have you ever given your father money from any of your no. business ventures? No. Nothing? Nothing. Ever. Not a nickel? Not a nickel. Directly or indirectly? Directly or indirectly. Not a nickel ever, 100%. No. Never. In 2018, near the height of his battle with addiction, Biden misplaced a handgun, sparking a law enforcement investigation. New details emerged last month that the Secret Service may have become involved improperly. It's a uh, concern that I would hurt myself or do something. Hallie, your, your brother's widow threw the gun away. She was trying to protect you? Oh, I think she, yes, yeah. I think she was just concerned about me. Why did you have a gun? Concerned. Well, I did, again, you know, the period of my life that um, was difficult. It was, um, but, you know, I, I don't know. Hallie's intent was to, to make certain that I didn't do anything to hurt myself. According to the reporting, at one point, the Secret Service went looking for the record of sale. Do you I know anything about that? Nothing, no. No. No idea. Did somebody report the loss of the gun? Oh, yeah. They, they, they had, um, at, in the moment, uh, you know, we knew that the gun was lost, that, that uh, Hallie had thrown it into a trash can, and I told her, that oh, you can't do that, um, right. when I realized that it was gone. And so she went back, and, and they, the police came to help retrieve the gun, which was retrieved. Someone had gone through the trash and picked it up, and they found it within hours, I believe. And so... 
That was the end of the story. But you know about the Secret Service being involved? No, I had no idea. I, I don't know whether the Secret Service were or wh why they would be, or I don't think that that's true, yeah. to my knowledge. The Secret Service told CBS News it has no record of its agent being in, agents being involved in the incident, and Joe Biden was not under protection at that time. In our next hour, we talk to Hunter Biden about his decades-long struggle with alcohol and cocaine, plus why, after the death of his brother Bo, he turned to crack and says he tried to disappear. There's a lot there. Yeah. I mean, it's it, interesting that he says that he wouldn't do it again, getting on the board. But he doesn't think, he, he doesn't he, seem he, to think he, it He's was not apologizing for taking the job. Yeah. He won't do that. He, yeah. he, he, he realizes now that it got his, his father um, in some trouble, and, mm -hmm. and he regrets that. But he's not apologizing. He says, I was qualified. Uh, I had every right to serve. You framed the question the right way, though. You grew up in politics. How yeah. could you yeah. not have known? Yeah, I think, I think just know, knowing, what he, knowing what he knew about politics, he should have anticipated it. I think that's the argument. He claims he never thought it would be this bad. And there's a lot he does doesn't remember too. Yeah. Well, when you've been through what he's been through, yeah. that's not surprising. That's no. par for the course. Not surprising. Yeah.